little puppy love. We're gonna go do some fishing. Look at this light, guys. This sucker is up. It is muddy, and it is going to be tough. Tough, tough, tough. But that's what we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna talk about fishing cold, muddy water. If I can even get to the lake, there's debris. We've got a lot of wind right now, and there's debris over the road. We've got a we got a limb over the road. I think I can get over that. I might jump out and try to move that off the road. Yeah, I'm gonna jump out and move that. <laughs> All right, we survived the road on the way in here. There was a lot of debris on the road. Had to get out and uh, clear out a tree limb that was across the road, just a little too big. I didn't want to jump on the boat. We made it to the lake. Man, it is high and it is muddy. Got my fishing dog with me. Finley, come here. Say hi to the camera. What's up? We're going to have fun. It's 46 degrees, kind of chilly, and the wind's blowing like, I don't know, like 25, 30 miles an hour. Um, we're going to start with some jerk baits. It's been a jerk bait bite. Cold, muddy water. Absolute toughest conditions. We got three inches of rain last night. There's still runoff coming into the lake. I'm just gonna try to get a bite, to be quite honest with you. We're gonna throw a jerk bait, clown color jerk bait. It's really good in the stained water. And this is Table Rock Shad, but something that's kind of bold, something that has some silhouette, some contrast. Also gonna be throwing a big thumper blade, a thunder thumper. This is a June Shoji Dream Express Lures makes this thing. This is a three quarter ounce spinner bait with a size six. Colorado on there jig you know I put a June bug colored trailer on this jig still green pumpkin I may go black and blue I do have a black and blue in here got a little flipping bait it's a little um, razorback by hogs custom baits that's really it I got a chatter bait over here I may throw that around a little bit but it's really gonna be about finding some of the clear water we're gonna try some stain stuff but we're definitely gonna have to look for the clear, cleanest water. We're gonna have to get out of these creeks. Let's walk down here and look at the, look at the lake, folks. I mean, the lake is, it's up. The sucker is really up. It hasn't been this high in since last spring, probably. The lake has been really low, but it's definitely full pool now. There's the dock. Definitely can't tie up to the dock today. I'm gonna have to run up on the bank over here. Stained water. We're in the back of a creek here. And it's not, I mean, it's it's stained. It looks like it's about a foot of visibility, maybe. A lot of debris in the water. I don't know, you can see over there, you really got a mud line coming in. So we're gonna get out there in the main lake. Hopefully we can find some clear water and just try to get a bite. Just keep our heads down. We got a few hours to figure it out. Let's go. something these are the toughest possible conditions you get a big rain in the winter it just shuts down the fishing hopefully we can hunt and peck and scrounge up a few bites Got him. Fish was up there in like two feet of water, guys. Two feet of water. Holy cow. And look at this. Look at this water tap. Forty degree water tap. Crazy. Can't believe I even caught one. Okay, so we've tried several different things. Um, I threw that big spinner bait, nothing. Uh, swim bait, nothing. Chatter bait, nothing. And I've been jerking. And a couple times I've thrown up there really shallow. I mean, I'm, I'm surprised they even caught a fish. The water's 40 degrees and it's super muddy. We got three inches of rain. I mean, to me, that's a miracle almost. But I threw up there really shallow a couple times and I, I thought I had something bump it. It just felt like something kind of bumped it, nosed it. So I made a couple more casts and hooked up. So I'm gonna kind of go down this bank and just fish shallow. I mean, that fish was in like two foot of water. And this is a pretty flat bank. Just throwing this 
jerk bait, clown color, kind of a color that has become unpopular, but it still works in the stained water. I mean, honestly, I'm just amazed that I caught a fish. I mean, look at this. We still got runoff coming in the lake from last night's rain. See that little ditch right there? Just in the back of this little cut. Got some floating wood. We definitely got some water coming in. This lake is still rising, and it's going to continue to get muddier. And my nose is running. That's a good fish, guys. Fish was shallow again. Oh, yeah. Come on, that fish. Keep on it, too. Go, look at that chunky monkey. 40 degree water temps, holy cow. I mean, the fish have moved up shallow. They followed the water. And uh, man, I'm just shocked to get bit. That's awesome. It's a good quality fish. Look how fat that fish is. I'm having to let this jerk bait sit for like six or seven seconds and I'm kind of pulling it up. I can't work it down because it's so shallow. So I'm having to twitch upwards just to keep it from getting hung up in the grass. but. Man, that feels good. Feels good. Got some rock right there. I like that rock. There he is. For the cause. For the cause. Okay. All right, man. They all count today. Come on, these are the kinds that put a hook in your hand. All right, got that little sucker. Getting a few bites, I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm just glad to catch something. Oh yeah, good fish. Come on, I'll lay down. Nice. fat fish piece of wood right over there lay down just jerking it along that lay down let it pause man that sucker's feeding up Woo! hey man you never know you never know until you get out here fish are gonna be biting it's a good fish happy to have him sucker's built that fish is heavy man sweet Good time. Man. <clears throat> Good old winter fishing. Man, it is cold out here, folks. The wind is really blowing. Um, wind chill's got to be like in the 30s. But what I've done is, you know, when you get this high water like this, muddy water, cold water, the best thing to do is kind of run around and see if you can find some water that's clear. 
Now there's a fluctuation of like two degrees on this lake, but a lot of the stuff is really blown out. The wind is really howling, so you can't really fish in that wind. They definitely don't want to be in the wind when it's just cold and muddy. Um, so what I've done is I've kind of I've tried. I found a place that's a little bit out of the wind, and the water color is a little bit better. Now it's really stained. It's like a foot of visibility, maybe a foot and a half. But a lot of the places was like six inches. So this is a little bit clearer water. Clear water is relative to the body of water that you're in. Um, I feel like it's not so chocolate milk that the fish can see this jerk bait. And I've tried a couple different baits, and it seems like the jerk bait is the deal. I've had a couple bites on it, caught a couple fish on it. And I just kind of started fishing really shallow. I've been fishing out off the grass line, places where they would be before it went up. Um, it seems like they have slid up a little bit shallower. So I'm looking for places with hard, hard bottom. The last couple bites I've had, there's been some wood and there's been a little bit of rock around. That seems to be key. So I'm continuing to look for those kind of places and I'm having to really high stick that jerk bait because I'm throwing up in like nothing. I'm throwing up in a foot of water. This is stuff that's been, that was dry like two days ago. They've, they've obviously they've moved up shallower and I'm having to high stick this, that bait to keep it out of the grass. So it's kind of fun, kind of inter interesting. It's, it's crazy that, you know, the water's like 40.7 degrees and these fish are up in two feet of water. So we're going to keep on rolling. There he is. Right on that point, that fish hammered it. That's a good one. That's a good one, guys. Oh, he barely hit. Barely hit. Barely hit. Come on, stay on. There you go, man. That fish is skinny. No wonder he ate that jerk bait. <laughs> it's so fun. It's coming across this little secondary point. The fish is still in about three foot of water. Fish smoked it. All right, man. That feels good. It's good. That's a nice fish. I mean, he's ugly, but everything today is nice. secondary point guys really slow down and give him time to find it There you go. All right, man, it's going to wrap it up. Thanks for coming along on this adventure. Give me a thumbs up if you appreciate the content. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'm just throwing a Mega Bass Vision 110. You can get them at Baitworks. Um, use the code THM10 to get you 10% off your first order. It's a great way to get back to the channel. And man, I'll be honest with you. I was coming out here. I thought there's no way I'm even going to get a bite. Just the conditions are probably the worst possible conditions for fishing. Cold, muddy water, fresh runoff. Um, runoff is good in the spring a little bit later but in the winter it can be a death wish and um, just 
happy to catch some fish, man. So thanks for coming along. Uh, and get out there when you can go. You just never know. I mean, you got to go when you can go. It's cold. It's kind of miserable out here. But Finley and myself, we had a good time. And until next time.